Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. I think I accidentally clicked stop stream, but I started it again, so hopefully it just goes bloop and nothing happens. If not, welcome to the archives. <laughs> 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 no, it'll probably pick up properly. Um, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. I still get people going, oh, what, I can't see half, like it's all whiny and terrible. But, yeah, what can you do? I guess I just skip immediately. I say that every time within the first 10 seconds of the show that we broadcast at 60 frames a second, but they they might be like, well, that but doesn't why, mean I have to do but, anything. But why would that affect them? Um, because depending on how they're watching it and what medium they're watching it, it may not automatically set itself to 60 frames a second. And the way the Atari does some games, it draws one frame. But what medium doesn't do 60 or more frames per second? Old televisions. People are watching on old televisions? That's, <laughs> That's awesome. Right. That's really? Right. Not old television, but televisions that aren't like new new and don't have something hooked up to them. Like the one upstairs that we have is not a 60 frames per second television. And neither is this one. They're what? 120? They're, they're 30. What? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't do 60. Oh. Um, not the way... Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do 60 interlaced, but not 60. Like, there's nothing okay. that broadcasts at 60. Uh, oh, no, maybe there is. 720, 60. I don't know. I'm talking about garbage. How about a test picture at the beginning of each show? Yeah, I'll probably... Might include that in, like, my planned intro that i'm going to do for the show that i can just play it so that it kind of it's, it's like now it's the show is happening get ready yeah, and then yeah. use it on the outro too and i'll just put it in the bottom or something broadcast in 60 frames per second or something you know how they used to say broadcast in stereo yeah like yeah. it was a big deal like it was a big <laughs> deal it's not just one speaker that's on your television <laughs> like you can hook it up to your stereo system and it'll be in two speakers but yeah i'll do that the audio is in sync. Oh, you're freaking me out. <laughs> not used to that. Yeah. If, if the quality is set to audio, it may switch between the two. That is, oh, for, oh, yeah, because yeah. it's like uh, it's good enough. You don't need to see it at sixty frames oh, a second. Because yeah. it wants to save some uh, bandwidth. And yeah, because yeah. I mean they're spending less money on their bandwidth that they don't have to send it to at the highest possible quality. So we have some games today. And what i know three games know. including a world premiere oh from that dude right there johnny wc23 wow, john champo and it is lunar lander oh um it sounds it, dangerous it can be if you crash <laughs> in it can space be if you crash <laughs> it will be okay yeah. you'll be ejected into space and no way to get back home yeah you know you're kind of stuck on the planet with all the tardigrades that uh, <laughs> that are now living on the moon yes <laughs> the inhabitants of the moon we must invade and reclaim it for earth yeah um <laughs> we have three games today lunar lander which is a world premiere we are the first to play it it has not been released. Uh, 2019 work in progress by John Shampoo, Shampoo. I almost said Shampoo. John <laughs> Shampoo of Champ Games. Uh, we have Gate Racer as well from uh, 2013 for, by Steve Engelhart, a.k.a. Atarius Maximus. And we're going to challenge ourselves with Hero to try and get the patch. And that's from 1984. By John Van Rysen. Rysen. I'm going to say Rysen. So welcome everybody to the show today. Uh, we have Johnny WC23, Thrust26, Mr. Fix, S. Ramirez2008, Impaler26, Nathan Strom, Splendid Nut, Repentless, VG, Ice Bosta, Mr. Fix. Uh, is that all the people that are talking? And all the lurkers who just like to watch and don't want to talk. And that's perfectly fine. That's fine. And all the people on YouTube land watching it later, welcome. Because there are a lot. It's like about twice as many people watch it later. Because, you know, it's live. People have lives. and it's Lives? Fr it's Friday and they're out having fun. Instead of playing video games like us, which is a torture. It's terrible. 
No, it's fun. It's lots of fun. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers: uh, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mister Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, Retro Happy Hour, Scum Software, a delivery? Hmm, maybe. Uh, Sir Catlegs, a Spastic, uh, Spastastic, Spartan Five Eight One, Spiceware. S. Ramirez 2008, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Oh, it sounded like a package because it was dropped off very quickly. And not somebody soliciting us to join their cult. Um, you can support the show and subscribe for free too if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and hit subscribe. Uh, did 22 other people take Johnny WC? Oh, they're talking about names in there. So he just jumped from Johnny WC straight to 23. Um, so we do have a poll question today, and the poll question is, what kinds of games do you play? And not genre. Is it for me? Hide that. Hide that. I did. Hide that. I tore it off. Well, this is exciting. It's very light. Here, you can have this. Thank you. There we go. Hide it over there. Um, I think I know what this is. It's not that exciting. I think it's batteries. It ha says batteries on the side. <laughs> but that could be anything with batteries. Yeah, it says that there are exploding batteries that are on fire and cracked. Oh, I didn't order cracked batteries. I, I, that is a very pessimistic reading of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it shows them on fire. Yeah, like, I think it shows a cracked battery on fire, suggesting <laughs> that a cracked battery might be turned on fire. Turned well, on fire? Turned might on fire. burst into flame. <laughs> You know. Me good English. Me good English. I can open it anyway. And I think it's for my camera. Because um, I think last trip I couldn't find my battery charger. So I think I donated it to the hotel that we're staying at. Oh. And it's definitely not worth them shipping it. Yeah, it's just a battery charger. Not too exciting. So it's a battery but, charger but no batteries? Uh, with two batteries oh, as well. Okay. I mean, I have other batteries, but, yeah, yeah. you know, getting bonus batteries... Because the Who charger doesn't want bonus batteries. Because the charger itself is probably really, really cheap. So they want to include some batteries yeah, and yeah. mark it up a little bit. And I needed extra batteries anyway. So, yay! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay, we've got a poll question today. Um, it's homebrew versus classic Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. What do you play the most? Or do you only play one, or is it a mix of one, or is it mostly one or the other? Um, so the options are, actually I'll just put it up on the screen now so you guys can start voting. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, and I'll make sure that it does go on the screen. There we go. Um, so the choices are one, exclusively homebrew. Maybe people may play exclusively homebrew or close enough. Like I would say, you know, in the 95% range where you can say, yeah, it's almost all homebrew. Um, and the second choice is mostly homebrew, but you play some classic games. Um, three, mostly classic games, which you sprinkle in some homebrew. And four, only classic games, which is a mystery that you're watching because <laughs> we only play homebrew games, mostly. Um, Have and you asked what they play? They play, yes. They might want to see what those other weirdos are doing. That's true. They're like, oh, fangled. Oh, I don't want to play them. I just want to watch them. Then I don't even need to play them. Yeah. It's like watching, yeah, I guess we're one of those shows <laughs> that play video games and other people watch other people play video games. Kind yeah. of funny. Um, and uh, option five, neither. What am I doing here? I think I'm lost. Because if you don't play any Atari 2600 games, that, that would be very strange to watch this show at all. Um, but you might. Maybe you're new here. Maybe you're just curious about what the hell people are still playing this old system from 1977. You guys are weird. Um, so I am going to vote number two. I, it's probably closer to number one. Um, but I do play um, a lot of the Activision games now to try and get the patches to get the high scores. So I sprinkle that in. And, and play some other ones once in a while. Developers might not play anymore. Just testing. Yeah, maybe they're so inundated with their own games that they don't actually play them. They just look for 
bugs and crashes. Yeah. And then by the time they're done programming and testing, they're like, I don't even want to play these games. So that is a possibility. What do you That's... do when someone made the wrong... You're screwed. Oh, no. You've ruined <laughs> the sciences. Run! Oh, can you flick off that light switch down? I left it on. The color temperature is bad. There we go. There we go. It's not very strong. We so apologize cool. for the color temperature. Yeah, the slight orange on our faces. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's much more pure now. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Uh, so, let's, um, let's get into the first game. Don't have any... Uh, news or feedback from two days ago you know um the first game is lunar lander and it is a world exclusive uh we're the first to play it it is by john champo of champ games it was first posted about on july 29th 2019 is it champ games champ champ games uh no it's champ games right. yeah he does he manipulates it a little bit <laughs> Sorry, you were saying I interrupted you with yes. a not funny joke. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Paul took your two. Oh, he's apologized. We'll let yeah. it slide this time. Yeah. So Forgiveness we'll, has been given. That's right. We'll take a couple percent off of two if it actually wins. <laughs> um, this build uh, is... He sent it over to me on August 7th, but I think it is older than that because I don't know if he's done any work on it, but I got it August 7th, uh, which is uh, two days ago. I think yes and the size of the game is 8k and other games that john champo has made avalanche uh champ sports hockey conquest of mars elevator action some of these are work in progress and not released but uh ladybug lunar lander which we're playing mappy ripoff scramble super copra arcade uh wizard of war arcade zookeeper and so those are a lot of heavy hitters, which we have played. Okay, there we go. Build is from 2008. No, no changes since then. So this build is not from uh, 2019. And I will get into the details of that. Um, it is not available yet, um, but it will be at some point. So let's... We did look at the... Th this is a port of a game, of an arcade game made by Atari. And we did look at the arcade game when we played another Lunar Lander type game that was also similar to, to this. Um, but we're going to refresh people and um, take a look at the arcade briefly again because um, I don't think you were there for that. And some yeah, of the people so. out here may have not been here for that as well. Um, it has got really good sound. So let's take a look. As I queue it up here, boom, and switch over to it. There we go. Uh, oh, did it start automatically? Oh, looked like it wasn't going to. Yeah, it did look that way. And then I it just over did. And I was like, oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did too. Okay, so here's the arcade version of Lunar Lander, and it's got some really good sound. Um, it is a single-player arcade game in the Lunland Lunar oh, Lander subgenre. Isn't that great thrusting sound? Oh my god, I'm killing their ears. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ears. Sorry, ears. It's a nice sound, though. It's not like piercing. It's like just a low rumble. So if you had big speakers on, it, they'd probably have annoyed your neighbors by now. Um, <laughs> so this is from 1979 um, from Atari. And a lot of games have been made that are like this. Was this like obviously like a vector graphics? Vector graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of early games. Were oh made. no! Uh, oh, saved oh. it. Saved it. Um, it was released August 1979. In the game, the player controls a lunar landing module as viewed from the side and attempts to land safely on the moon. So it's a 2D game. You don't have to go it's in. It's not happening. Why does it keep going up? I don't know. He wants he wants like a harsh he wants a perfect descent straight down. Uh, the player fu uh, burns fuel points to rotate the module and fires a thruster to counteract gra gravity earning points based on the skillfulness. Yeah, he just wanted a beautiful landing. That's a pretty nice landing. The eagle has landed. Uh, the game resets the module after every successful landing or crash with a new landing terrain and ends when the player runs out of fuel. Uh, players can insert 
more coins at any time to buy more, more fuel. Oh. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's like one of the first games of microtransactions. <laughs> 1979. It's like, you can con continue playing if you like. Just pop in a couple more quarters and buy some fuel. <laughs> Allowing for potentially indefinite gameplay. So their score wouldn't reset. They would just get more fuel and you could get a high score. So this is probably a game where if you wanted to get a high score on it, somebody would have to watch you and make sure you're not putting in more quarters. What? It's part of the game. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> so it's it's pay to win. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so legit just pay to win. Pop in more and more quarters. Yep. Um, and now we're going to take a look at the version of this game that was put on the Atari Flashback 2. Um, and this is part of the whole story, and I'll get to it why uh, in a bit. So, uh, that is that game. Where are you just going to land? Oh. Oh, oh my. That's just like... a tease. <sighs> okay. So, let's click over to um, the 2600 here. Um, and I'm going to show you this because... Of how terrible it is, actually. <laughs> and how badly made. Um, no, you can play. You can play. And I'll read out stuff. So, it's already on the right thing. Oh, but that isn't. Okay. Don't make a comment yet. I'm still getting it. There we go. And, okay, people with uh, uh, issues with flashing <laughs> lights, uh, avert your eyes. I gave you two seconds warning. Okay, so this is uh, Lunar Lander. It's, I'm not going to show it for very it's long. It's flickers on purpose, because... isn't it? To make it look like it's a vector-based game. Let's go with that. I'm <laughs> sure. Like, why else I... would it be like that? Maybe, but not everything. The press reset is. So maybe that's what they're going for. The the Lunar Landers, but this the stuff at the top isn't. Yeah, but that stuff maybe is more solid because... Would it be more solid? No, everything would be the same on a vector Unless it was more persistent in drawing that, yes. Um, so, the Atari Flashback 2, the successor to the original. I'll get you going so you can play. Is it working? Oh, aborted. Aborted. Oh, okay. You're going. No, don't press the button. Oh. Abor pressing the button aborts it. So. Thrust says just bad programmers. Because <laughs> he, uh, he, oh, the landscape is identical. I don't know. Anyway, um, the successor to the original oh, Atari aborted. Flashback. I see. No pressing the button. Uh, released in 2005, it has 40 Atari 2600 games built in. A few of uh, the included games are homebrews, which were created by enthusiasts in recent years. And two of the games, Pitfall and River Raid, were originally published by Activision. Um, and uh, I looked up Lunar Lander, ah! and it's actually... Oh, no. You're doing okay. You're fine. You're crashing yet. Um, Lunar Lander is the name of a genre of video games in which the player controls a spacecraft as it falls towards the surface of the moon or other astronomical bodies and must maneuver the ship's thrusters so as to land safely before exhausting the available fuel. And before the top of the show, I was talking with um, Thomas Yench, and he who is thrust in the chat and i was saying well your game is kind of a lunar lander game thrust but it doesn't really 100 percent qualify because you don't actually land you have to grab something and take off into space so it doesn't quite fit but it's like that close <laughs> I have trouble seeing it what's oh, happening it's hard to tell oh if you're straight on well you're definitely not <laughs> okay we're gonna quit out of this game because it's i don't know i'm gonna win look okay i'll let you either win or crash on this one. Oh, 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 oh no no oh i think you saved it i don't know how slow you have to go oh you oh, wait, i crashed what you did you turn accidentally? no it's just that it's it <laughs> unlike the example video where once you started flying up somehow you lost all your your strange sideways delta. Oh. This one doesn't have that. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm guessing the off frame is when they do calculations, possibly. So they just do a blank frame, do a bunch of calculations, then draw the next the frame. What? Why doesn't the top... Uh... Oh, flicker? Because they draw the top constantly and then blank out the rest, do a bunch of calculations, and then draw the top the second frame, and then draw the rest on the second frame, too. Okay, well, they can't see this. Okay, so hold down the button, and we'll play a much better version. So, uh, Champ Games posted on July 29th uh, in fa on Facebook... Um, and he said, did you know that the very first 2600 game programmed by Champ Games was completed but never released? The game was a port of the night of Atari's 1979 co-op, coin-op, game Lunar <laughs> Lander and was originally supposed to be included in an update of the Atari flashback game system in 2006. But the plans were ultimately cancelled. With 2019 being the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landings mm. and the 40th anniversary of Lunar Lander, so that original game was put out 10 years right. after. We thought it would be appropriate to share this bit of Champ Games history with you. Um, so here is the game. As you can see, it is about 100% better than the other one. Uh, there's no flicker. Um, there's nice colors. The original didn't have colors, but, you know, it's an update. It's a port. It's something. It, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Now it's got Champ Games. So this is, uh, as he said in the chat, is 2000, from 2008. Yeah. Oh, and it says right there as well. So let's get it started. And it, and if you <clears throat> notice the turning of the ship in the other game and compare it to the turning of the ship in this game. Oh. Much smoother. quieter too. Go. Okay, so I'm going to read the history and development development notes. It is based on the Atari's vector arcade game. It does zoom in. There you go. Um, did the other one zoom in too? Yep. Okay. It's based on the Atari vector arcade game Lunar Lander. Released in 19... You're going too fast. You crashed! I was going too fast, yes. But you're turned also. Yeah, and I was having great difficulty getting it to not be turned sideways. <laughs> that was the problem. Uh oh. Up! <laughs> uh, a version of Lunar Lander was programmed by a third party and released in the Why Atari Flashback 2 console. Produced by Legacy Engineering. Released in the summer of 2005. Although playable, the game suffers from massive flicker. The entire screen flickered. Other new games developed and included on the Flashback 2 included Caverns of Mars, Space Duel, Yars Revenge, Yars Return, sorry, and Pong, pad Hidden Paddle Game. And the Pong game is actually pretty good. Um, after some feedback from the community regarding issues with the new games, Kurt Vendel of Legacy Engineering had posted in the Atari Age forums looking for suggestions. I reached out to Kurt and offered help with Lunar Lander and Caverns of Mars. Dennis Dubrow working, worked on Yars Return and fixing a collision detection issue in Pong. He also worked on Space Duel. Uh, so where are the valid landing locations? Above the flashing scores. But you can land on any flat surface. You just won't get any points. Ah, so oh, you can great. land anywhere you like. But you won't get any points for it, which you know kind of defeats the purpose. Did you land already? No. How do you get? I thought you I get was... twenty points. You get twenty points for crashing. <laughs> oh, you're perfectly horizontally straight. That's good. I was about to go into that valley because I thought that valley was the, the place to be. But it was not the place to be. No. <laughs> I don't uh, want to land, though. You don't want to land. I'd rather run out of fuel. Ooh. So you had seven um, horizontal gravity. I wonder what the limit is. I don't know if he says it in here. Um, John, if... Oh, maybe it does say it in the... Uh, oh, I've got lots of instructions to get to. Um, okay, for Lunar Lander, I was given the f uh, flashback to ROM 
uh, 16K Sarah Chip bank switching and asked to fix the flicker uh, and other numerous playability issues. Since I didn't have the source and was fairly new to 2600 development, I started by disassembling the ROM to source code and worked with Dennis Debro uh, to label the source. This is the process where you add comments and appropriate labels inside source code once you figure out what it's doing in the hopes that you can change it. Well, did I run out of fuel like it? Oh yeah. How did I turn? <laughs> <laughs> in this game, I don't think uh, turning <clears throat> uses fuel. You can't turn without fuel. It's very true. I'm just saying. Um, without what atmosphere. If, what if you inside Unless the you, ship started running around it? You could you could try something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you would be the energy expelled. Yeah, but then you wouldn't be in front of the controls anymore. What if you had two people? You might be able to do something and like a, and that. A, and a hamster wheel that you you're running you around You might be able to do something like that, yeah. yeah. It's fairly or inefficient. Or a flywheel, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you could spin something inside. However, that's not how this works. <laughs> How do we know? We uh, can't see inside. Yeah, but we know what the Apollo landings. Okay, you want to read, and I will play, or you want to try another one? All right, you try. Okay. Once it was labeled enough. Once it was labeled enough, I spent a few days trying to fix the flicker issue. Unfortunately, this proved to be too difficult, so I set out rewriting the game from scratch. I used the same terrain graphics, so the games would look similar. I was able to remove the constant 30 hertz flicker and also fit the game in 8K without using the super chip, which provides an extra 120 bytes of memory. Unfortunately, unfortunately, plans for an updated FB2, codenamed FB2 Plus, were cancelled. The flashback series was then taken over by At Games. In 2008, I reached out to At Games through Bill Logodice to offer my updated Lunar Lander and Avalanche to be included on the next iteration of the flashback, but they never go back to me. At this point, Lunar Lander and Avalanche were put on the shelf until this year. I have spoken to Al and we plan on releasing Lunar Lander sometime in 2020 along with Avalanche. Like Avalanche, I intend on keeping the current bank switching scheme, 8K with no extra RAM, uh, 6502 assembly with no ARM, it's at etc. Details to follow. How to play. Yay! <laughs> the object of Lunar Lander is to be is to successfully land your space module on the moon surface as many times as possible until running out of fuel. It's kind of funny. Uh, the you horizontal thrust goes to zero. It's got a it's kind of got a uh, built-in dampener, yeah, dampener, I noticed that. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, but that's not how it works. but nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the original one had that. Yeah, I don't know. That. It had something oh, like it because uh, when the ship flew up, it kind that's of true. lost it. It went to zero. Which was weird. So you can kind of position yourself a little bit. Nice. And then make sure it just slows down. I want to know what the maximum landing speed is, so once you get to that. Lunar Lander is a one-player game. The status area the status area displays the following information. Your score is S. T, time elapsed for this attempt. F, fuel remaining. A, altitude. Uh, arrows, horizontal speed. V, vertical speed. Press select to cycle through the starting fuel. 750, 1500, and 3000. That's for that's select. Oh, okay. Uh, color black and white toggles between ah, color and black and white. Very nice, very cool. So you can go to the original look of it. We'll do that after. Left difficulty A equals stronger gravity. Ah. Press reset to start the game. Boo! We're on the easy. Yeah, Change boo. That. It was two thousand eight. Change forgetting. that before you uh, release it. Yes, please. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I will remove my boo from this from the the. The otherwise we constantly rating. complain about that on the show whenever a programmer doesn't to include the button to reset or something <laughs> well, and then someone says oh it's supposed to be right beside you and we're like yeah 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 it's not it's, though. No. It's, nowhere near us. it's nowhere near us it's not 1977 
On game start, your lander will enter from the left hand of the screen. Below you, you will see one or more landing areas, each with a point Kick multiplier. Ass. One to five. That the indicates Lord. the difficulty to land in that area. You may choose to land you may choose any area to land. With higher risk comes a higher reward and most likely more fuel expelled. Controlling your ship. Use the left joystick controller to control your ship. I was going to say, what? There's more than one, but never mind. <laughs> nope. Well, there's two ports. Uh, the left joystick controller to control your ship and move it towards a particular landing area. Pushing, push the joystick left, right to rotate your ship left or right. And press the joystick up to increase thrust and pull it down towards you Ooh, to so reduce thrust. You expel fuel when you when using your thrusters. Not to turn. Not to turn, no. That is all by gyroscopic effect inside somehow. Yes. <laughs> With hamster wheels. I predict hamster wheels. <laughs> Uh, to successful and align your ship over the landing area so that it's a so it's perpendicular to the surface and allow it to touch the surface with a minimum vertical speed. When you collide with the surface of the moon, there are three outcomes. Eagle landed. This is a, this is three. a successful landing. Okay. Base points of uh, fifty times multiplier. Yes. And fifty bonus fuel. No, oh, you can land fuel. on nice. a non-designated landing area. However, you will not be awarded any points or bonus fuel. Not much point in doing that then. Landed hard. Landed, landed. landed, but with damage to the ship, resulting in less points and no bonus fuel. Oh. Base points 15 times multiplier. Crash, landed too hard or not aligned properly. No points, 100 fuel taken away. Oh. Boo. Boo. Um, so what is hard? What is landed hard? Doesn't say. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's when you land too hard. Yeah, but like I've gone up to maybe six or... See, that was three. Very soft. Yes, very soft. Like a fluffy <laughs> feather pillow soft. Yeah. <laughs> uh, press the joystick button to abort the current landing. When enabled, Never! When enabled, your <laughs> ship will turn... When, when enabled, your ship will turn to have its thrusters face the moon surface and apply full thrusters for a few seconds. Oh. Ooh, that was a bit hard. Seven. Okay. Uh, this is a great version of Lunar Lander. Yeah, it's totally, it's perfect. Like, what else do you need? <laughs> it's, it's got everything. Uh, but, uh, John. Oh, so when you press the button, it, it, uh, turns your ship to face up. Okay. And apply full thrusters for a few seconds. It uses oh. a lot of fuel, but is effective for averting an imminent crash, so use it sparingly. Oh, so you don't actually, like, quit and it goes away. No. It's like a... Uh, you abort that, like... Like, a, like, do it now. No! This is not a... No! I'll do it next time. Don't tote! I'm almost there! <laughs> okay, I'll do it this time. I'll, I'll go for, like, a super dangerous uh, maneuver. Why? Well, you can't turn directly down. You can only turn horizontally. Oops. That's good. Nobody needs to fly towards the moon. That's true. <laughs> okay, abort. Oh, well, that's that's kind of cool. Um, you can pull out of it, I think. I'm going to try it again. No, you can't. No. Oh, low fuel. You're going to crash and die. Mm, maybe. Let's see if I can get out of this. See if I have enough fuel to counteract. And get over there. Ooh, oh yeah, I do. Boom! With bonus fuel. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at the black and white version of it. Nice. There we go. So that for a more authentic play. So it's n nice for people who want um, it to look more like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so oh. John, uh, John doesn't seem to remember what the maximum speed you can land at is. So let's try a hard landing. 
Well, no choice. <laughs> yeah, 31 is too hard. 30, yes. we've, we, the science is in. 31, <laughs> 31 is too hard. Too hard. Now you keep going. I have more things to read. There we go. It says try like between 20 and 30. Uh, where did you get to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So afterwards, uh, John added, uh, I find that... Because I, I commented to him about... Um, starting from scratch versus fixing somebody else's code and what he did is start the game from scratch from right over because uh, the code was just uh, it was too hard to to figure out and it was messy and he got down from 16k to 8k oh are there any caves no caves um he's and he said i find that working on your own code and starting from scratch is much much easier than working on somebody else's code especially when I didn't have the source to begin with. This allowed me to design the game from the ground up, uh, reduce the requirements. Certainly modifying the original code would not have allowed for this. I do have about 1K free, and that's without any optimizations, so there will sure be some added bells and whistles before the game's official release. Um, and Thrust says, are there any caves? So you have to fly be below some surface. <clears throat> I think that would be interesting, if possible, to do, uh, to map that out, so that there's like kind of overhangs and you have to fly underneath them to land. I don't know how feasible that is, because it would be a very different uh, programming than just mountains of varying heights, because there would have to be blank spots uh, in between. But maybe, you know, they, you could just, yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. The moon has lava tube caves. Because this has little divots that you have to land in. But um, And also, uh, he added, I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, Steve Ramirez. He's one of your subscribers and an active member of the Atari Age community. And uh, uh, his involvement in getting me to... Rev and he's... His involvement in getting me to revisit Lunar Lander after all these years. He reached out to me a few weeks ago, inquired about Lunar Lander after I had mentioned it exi its existence in one of my interviews. Not sure which one. Since he's done outstanding testing on many of my games, Galagon, Avalanche, I've shared the ROM from 2008. Much to my surprise, he loved the game and asked about maybe releasing it uh, this year to coincide with the 50th anniversary of the moon landings, which I didn't even think of. Although the release schedule for Champ Games is maxed out for 2019, yeah, because Wizard of War and Gal uh, Galagon is coming out, uh, we will hopefully release it in 2020. But without Steve's enthusiasm, I probably wouldn't have given, given it a second thought. I've never been a big fan of Lunar Lander, so I didn't give the game much attention. But, I'd, but I guess absence makes the heart grow fonder, so here we are. Um, so there is another option for this, because I found this pretty easy. Like, I was able to keep going. We I, can all agree it's very easy because I've landed three times. <laughs> I don't know about, like, on. Also, you can hit the side, and then you just go straight down to number three. Uh, uh, so it doesn't wrap around. I realize that. So that's an option you can add in, is wrap around. Because that would be a good option. Um, so that you can go to the other side. And you can't do the cheaty, cheaty thing you just did. It's not cheating, it's part of the game. <laughs> I'm getting it. Yeah. Um, oh. You should try for a... Were you trying to do that? Like a, a landing on a non-part? Oh. There aren't any options. Oh, there is one on the left. Very far left to land. Um, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuel. Um, well, I guess it does it give you only 50 maximum uh, fuel uh, and 50 fuel. So theoretically, you always have to land. It said you cheated. No, it said you crashed. You always have to land with using less than 50 or exactly 50 if you want to keep going. If you want to keep going, yeah. yeah. And you have to land in a landing pad. Yes, always. Less than 50. Or then you yeah. just wasted every bit of fuel. Yeah. Hey, Emu Dan. Emu Dan? I bet it's Emu Dan for emulation. And not the bird. What do you think? <laughs> Could be the bird. It's 
emu? It's an emulation of an emu. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's not a real emu, emu. It's just an emulator. Okay, I'm going to see what... Did you try for figuring out what the hard landing thing is? Hard that, landing. Was your, that was your mission. To land between 20 and 30. And land between 20 and 30? What do you mean? Uh, th upward thrust or downward gravity. Um, oh, no. I was not playing that game. Okay. <laughs> I was playing the uh, I'm bad. Let's see if I can get slightly better. Uh, oh, I'm, there we go. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So it has to be the least below 21. 21 now. Oh, what is happening? Ah. I'm crazy for a second. I'm going to land on the left because it's really easy. So I'm going to go between 15 and 20, I think. Let's try that. Thrust is 10, maybe. All the ones that I was doing successfully were definitely below 10. Yeah, well, 7, you said, was a uh, rough landing. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can least keep it above 10. No, no, no! 10. Landed hard, hard on 10. 10. Yeah. But we don't know what a crash is yet. Okay. Now you got to do 11. Yeah. <laughs> Binary search. Yep. Now I have to do 11 or 12. Well, it's okay. I bet it's between 10 and 15 is hard. And anything under 10 is fine. That's my... Is the left always safe like that? Uh, what should I do? Oh, that was too... <laughs> that was too good. Four. Um... Try and get 10. Or 15, I guess, is, yeah. the, is the next thing to try. Good luck to me. 15. Yep. Okay, we're going to say 10 to 15 is hard. Why don't we do 16 and see? Because <laughs> it's so hard to make it a perfect Oh, one. it's hard. Uh, yeah, we cannot draw conclusions based on the information we have. <laughs> no, we can't. We can only make terrible assumptions. Oh, there you go. Seven. You would have been wrong. That's true. But twenty-one died, but we might twenty might be fine. It could be. Yep. Ten was landed hard. I landed on ten, right? Oh, is Nathan leaving or John? No, ten was hard. So what am I doing? Twenty. Oh no, I can't. Ah, <laughs> I'm coming down too fast. Too too slow. Oh, low fuel. Oh, no, John has to go. Thanks for dropping in. I'm going sideways and going to crash. Uh, okay, we're going to set it to the... Um, high gravity? High gravity. So I think that's it? the other option. And that'll definitely make it a lot harder. Uh, which setting? Left joystick. Select between starting fuel. Okay. Uh, left difficulty A. Okay. There you go. Let's go back to color, too. Much more exciting looking. Almost perfect. Wait. Way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Is it stronger gravity? Is it a lot stronger? Yeah, it's a little bit stronger. So nine is okay. Nine. And ten is hard. So we found that divide. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking for twenty or nineteen. Twenty five is too high. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what is happening? There we go. Yeah, it seems that the left most side is always available. Which is fine. 
I would say you should put even stronger gravity. Like, this isn't that strong. I was expecting, like, whoa, okay. Crazy. Well, it's meant to, it's not meant to oh, boggle your mind. It's meant to, it's meant to give an additional, make like, it a more bit. difficult. And it's more difficult because you have to use more fuel for the same effect. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't make it so hard that you're just going to run out of fuel each time. So it has to be possible within the 50 fuel that you have. Oh. I think it was easier when there was no color, too. <laughs> 17. Ah. <laughs> easier, when, easier in black and white. Everything was easier back when it was only black and white. All this color, newfangled color. Oh, you just stop. I want to. I want to just like ram into the left hand side. Thrust of the screen. says nineteen. Oh well, then the debate is going to be between twenty. I don't know if I can do it though. Twenty-two. Getting closer. Way to the right. Bam. <laughs> Why are you using up all that fuel? Uh, I just wanted to see you what You know what? Happen. When it hit the side, the land didn't move, but you did continue going that way. Because when you turned back, you had to Bam. shed your excess... Uh, um, I think so. Oh, I'm yes. Uh, Try it. Try it and see. That's what I think. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I that's what I think. That I had to uh, use additional fuel to go to the left again. Yeah. Mm. Like, like I, I wasn't... fly into it. No, no, fly into it. For I a while. did. Yeah. Ah, yes. So it retains your horizontal momentum, yeah. which is, you know, fine. It's true. It should. I mean, that's the only way it can represent it. Twenty-one is too high. Twenty-one is too. High. I think we already knew that. We one, definitely right? already knew that. Yeah. Oops! I accidentally pressed the button. That's what he was doing. So I was trying to re start again with the button, but the button accidentally puts you on full. You could have different <laughs> moons to land on with different gravity. Oh yes. Add They're volcanoes and ice. Pay attention to the not very good playing that you're doing. <laughs> That's right. The trying to crash. Trying to crash. Yeah, uh, hazards would be amazing. Um, yeah, volcanoes spewing out things that you have to avoid, like rocks flying up in the air, um, debris on the screen. Um, pay attention. Oh, I gotta go way up now. <laughs> so that I can go back down. Uh, we are on difficulty A, so it um, is using up more fuel to counteract. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Yes. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Give it a couple more tries. Moon winds. <laughs> yeah, you could put moon you winds could. in. You yeah, could. yeah. The moon has an atmosphere. Very tiny. Very, very tiny. It's uh, very... Okay, 20. 20 is crash. 20 is crash. So, do, we don't know that 19 isn't, do we? We haven't tried so 19. Russ says 19. He might know something we don't know. Maybe. I want to spin around. I want to go as I crash, but you can only go completely to left or right. Oh, my legs. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything else that... You guys want us to try with this? Um, I think we've determined the different levels of crashing hard. It's uh, Let's aim for nineteen. No, oh, not twenty-one. <laughs> not twenty-one. <laughs> what happens when you fly up? Oh, um. I'm guessing you just hit a ceiling. Yeah. No, it takes you a while. Does it take a while? Let's see. Let's go for a while. No, it uh, resets you. You can oh, see your upward yeah, thrust. Yeah. It's like yeah. a actual physical ceiling on that side. 
Oh, actually, yeah, if you go to the left, look at this. No, it resets you. See, so it goes 350, 350, 350. Maybe the right hand side doesn't. Nine. 19! Finally! Okay. And now we can admit <laughs> the thrust new <laughs> what is that the whole time. <laughs> okay, let's see. It goes 59. Oh, resets to zero. The right hand side. But it didn't seem like it was doing that. Look, look, look. Yeah. Oh, it it's not showing it. But it does yeah, exist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But that's I not I want to try it on up. this side. Because yeah. it seems to like go to zero, but then it actually is zero. Yeah, on the left-hand side, it's actually zero. But on the right-hand side, it seems to remember. Or maybe it's because it was such a large number. So 41. Yeah, yeah. You do have to hold down the reset. It's not a simple flick on this game. So I'm going to go to the left with a bit of thrust. And then turn around immediately. No, it is. It's funny. On the left-hand side and the right-hand side are treated very differently. Hmm. Um, 19 was logical. <laughs> it was? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Having the 10s as a cutoff. Um, but I think... We've done everything on this so far. I think that's the, the end of the options, too. <laughs> that's funny. Rescued You rescued me the last second. Uh, we haven't done the cycling of the fuel. I mean, that just changes how hard the game is. Yeah, yeah. So 1,500... That just means you can play longer. It's how many quarters did you put in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 750, 1,500, and 3,000. So 750 would be the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. So there Can you, you do that mid-game as though you were adding a quarter? Uh, let's see. No. It stops the game and resets the game. Yeah. So. Nope. Nope. Okay. Excellent game, John. Hey, being noisy. Either play it like an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. Smash. Okay. Very good stuff. Looking forward to the um, updates and enhancements to that as things go on. Can you press the middle button, please? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we are going to go now to Gate Racer. And this is by uh, Steve Engelhart, a.k.a. Atarius Maximus. Um, it's available in the Atari Age forums to download. <clears throat> this was first posted about on February 15th, 2013. And this build is from March 4th, 2013. And there is a slight connection between the, the first, this first game and this game in the fact that it feels like there's gravity. <laughs> <laughs> it feels it's not like a straight left right. Yeah, it there's feels like, like there's oil all over the road. Yeah, or that you're driving on ball bearings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, you ever see a cat run on hardwood and yes. change directions? That's what this game is like. <laughs> it's like you have to start uh, turning. Uh, you have to start turning back before you uh, <laughs> before you even get to where you're going. But that is part of this game. Yeah, it's like a, uh, you gotta switch directions before you get to that spot. Now you're invincible. Okay, um, other games. This is a 2K game. Um, and this guy uh, makes a lot of small games. Inertia. That's the word we're looking for. Momentum and inertia. So this is not a racing game. This is a space uh, game. You're, you're, you're racing what? through... Th you're it flying makes sense. Your car. If you were in space, this would make sense. It would. Like, you could put little thrusters out the yeah. side. Yeah. Like, if they changed it to a, a spaceship, it would make a lot more sense. 
Um, other games that uh, Steve has made, Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Racer, Gate Racer 2, Grand Theft Atari Demo, Inferno, jump, uh, Jumper, Jungle Adventure Demo, OS 2600, Primate Plunge, R-Pad Blaster, Touchdown Challenge, Turbo, and a massive amount of hacks. He says, here's my experiment in making a 2K game. It's the first time I've tried to. I thought I'd try my luck just to see if I could make something fun to play with some replay value as well. My goal, of course, was to here to have at least 2,048 bytes free in a 4K build, and I ended up with 2,053 bytes free. I always thought it would be impossible, so I thought I'd tr try and prove myself wrong. I know fun is relative, so I just made something I thought I'd like to play more than once. The game is called Gate Racer. The objective is to drive through the scrolling gates while avoiding hitting the barriers, sides of the road, or oil slicks. So that's a moving oil slick <laughs> that you have to avoid. Um, and there's a clock timer that shows uh, minutes, seconds, tenths of seconds at the bottom, and the objective is simply to survive on the road as long as you can. Your final time is displayed when you crash. Hitting fire restarts the game. Yay! <laughs> I implemented left and right velocity to make it more interesting, requiring a bit more skill. And the gate size and location is randomly generated. I think all the gates are the same size, though. So far. Yeah. Maybe as you get further, they get smaller. Uh, the gates will get smaller as you progress. The next sentence. Jeez. <laughs> and do so very quickly. There's also a power-up you can collect, a white block on the screen, that will make you invincible for two gates. I started thinking about what style of game would lend itself to such a small size. All of my, uh, one of my all-time favorite 2K games in Activision was Dragster, and a good game that lasts less than seven seconds. With that in mind, I wanted to come up with a short game that requires some skill and practice to get better, but also includes some randomization to increase replay value. I had all sorts of ideas for this game that wouldn't fit, in addition to some core items that I really wanted to have there, but wouldn't fit either. Here's a small list of features I wanted, but removed due to lack of ROM space in the 2K, which some of these he's put back in. Um, you can't use the reset switch in-game. It needs 10 bytes. It's a short game anyway. Pressing fire restarts after death. Well, that's preferable. He's, like, complaining he put, couldn't put in the reset switch. <laughs> I guess to have both. So he just got rid of one. Uh, no sounds, which he has put back in. Uh, I've removed the engine rumble sound. It needs 16 bytes. I didn't put in a crash sound either. It needs another 16 bytes. Because a lot of people in the forums helped him uh, optimize his code afterwards so that he could put a lot of these things back in. Um, I eliminated my code that randomly increases size of the gate. It needs 13 bytes. I eliminated the car moving slightly up the screen during the game. I don't know if he put that back in or not. Have you noticed moving up the screen at all? I'll watch for it. I think it does. Uh, that would make I it hardly get anywhere. If it did already, I'd be like, "What? Unfair!" <laughs> get those seconds. things. Get those things. Why? All it does it's is two gates. You don't have to. Yeah, but I need to. I need to get the gates because otherwise, I'll never be able to get the gates. That's true. You have to practice. <laughs> uh, also, it takes as much effort to get the thing as it does to like successfully navigate a gate. More maybe. It's oh no! Spam! Spam! What's spam? Those two messages above that person. Look how generic that is, typed up. It's always nice to get notification for a new stream like exactly what I typed. Um, I'm about to do some service yeah. that you have to pay me for. All the details, look at my URL. That's the first spam we've ever gotten. I feel humbled and honored to receive this sure, spam sure. on behalf of the, game, of, of the show. Um, we feel that we've gone to a level now where we are deserving of spam. <laughs> that they feel worthy enough that we would contribute money. That we're at a level that we have this kind of power and influence. And... I, you I, missed that that turn, and it was the best turn. <laughs> Aim for the gap, Starzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See? yeah. The real tip, pro tips are in the chat, right? 
I mean, that's going to change the game completely. For I you. was sitting here thinking this must be just like brutally painful for people to watch because like <laughs> I, I can't imagine anyone playing this right here. Like it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Um, I don't know if paddles would work with this. <laughs> uh, so his uh, his high score is two minutes and fourteen seconds on the that's, final build. This one. It's like. Almost 12 times my <laughs> score. Oh, you know what? I think some of our defaults are in the hard thing. Uh, oh, the oil slick is off. No, that was on the easy section. Easy one. What? Um, B, the XY velocity is on. Interesting. So you can turn it off. Uh, Maybe I haven't start. yet. You have to restart the game, I'm guessing. Here somehow? Uh, no, I've just been lucky with the. Oh, okay. uh, so maybe now it's going to take effect. Or maybe he didn't put that in. <laughs> uh, oh well. Play it with the defaults. Alright. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do it. Paddles would not work with direct steering. Um, no, it no it wouldn't work with this type of game because, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, because you would have to like spin it, to to you'd have to just keep spinning, spinning left, spinning right, spinning left, spinning right. I mean, it would work in a weird way. Ah, this game looks easy, doesn't it? It's like just go through the halls, but it's not. That with this um, inertia. It's like, oh my god. You have to aim for it and then steer away. Mm-hmm. Why is there so many... And if you're at all late, you are already dead. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't both get to the gate and not crash on the other side. Or if you go in the wrong direction to begin with, you're mm -hmm. like, no, no, mm -hmm. you're dead. You cannot change your mind That kills at me all. a lot. Yeah, that kills kinda, the Darcy. You want to be not moving in the center... But you yes. can't. You can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless the gate was in the center and you were not moving. Come on. Wow, my best game ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? Oh, why does it do that three times in a row? It's random. Fifty-four seconds. Yeah. It's, it's like, like slalom. Some. Oh. Yeah. It's like slalom skiing if you yeah. can only see 10 feet in front of you. <laughs> yes. In a snow blindness. You're, you can only see one slalom <laughs> at a time. <laughs> and you don't know where the other one is, <laughs> which would be the worst skiing experience ever. <laughs> yeah, that would be. That's a nightmare. Which this is. It's very hard. Like, I. But not. Like, it's not like. It's not challenging. Like, it's it's challenging in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't suffer the real consequences of slalom skiing in this game. <laughs> broken I mean, legs yeah. and mouthful of snow. Broken skis. Ah! What was I to do? I have no bullets. Just do it better. Just get good. Just get good. That's that's all you need. Just aim for the aim for the gaps. <laughs> That's right, aim for the gaps. <laughs> Best advice ever. <laughs> Why don't you get the magical pill, James? Because it's not worth it. I told you. <laughs> oh, what? I know, it's Like just... driving on ice. Like it is. driving on ice cream. Melted <laughs> ice cream. Slippery, slippery <laughs> melted ice cream. Because most of the time, you have to concentrate on going for the gaps anyway. So, yeah, yep. I totally agree now that I've been playing it. Yeah. That that dot is in extreme circumstances. Like you Technically it is better because it gives you two gates with the equivalent effort of passing one gate. Uh, so you, it, it could almost. help you maximize. Like if you take it then you, you get two gates. There you go. That so was you, an emergency because I wasn't. You only had to open. try. <laughs> I just passed the gate. Just as it and it turned off. Like, if it's available, it does yeah. make sense to grab it. Ah. But, yeah. But because mostly... You, because it's double the reward. Yeah. And the equal effort of going through a gate. Yeah. 
but mostly it's like, uh, it's risky. Risky. Like, eh, that was an easy get. I was almost near it anyway. And then you wasted it by going through the gates anyway. It's good practice. Ah, <laughs> uh, oil slick. Uh, why? Uh, <laughs> oil slick. Why you do this? <laughs> why you do this to me? <laughs> what is that? Slaloms right at the beginning. Oh my god. Like even when it's the, like, when you're in the middle, that's hard to do. My best now is 54 seconds, and then that's pretty damn good. Yeah. And it's just luck, too. Yeah. Like, the gates you get could be straight all the way for forever. I mean, unlikely, but it's possible. <laughs> or you could get slaloms the whole time and die within three gates. I don't think it's impossible to do any, any within move. Within three gates, yes. Because that set includes one gate. <laughs> or two gates. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Thank I don't know why. Annoying. I don't know why the oil stick makes you vibrate <laughs> back and forth, whereas the ground makes you slide back and forth. It's like you're on. It's it. like you're I fighting think it's with like, it. It's not an oil slick. It's an anti-oil slick. It's like you're normally on oil, and then you hit this like graded pavement area where it like right. gives you some it's sort of bumpy grit. <laughs> you're sort of stuck in a rut, and you're like, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, like oh. it's like gravel. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 and it holds you there. It's more yeah. like a monster, a smoke monster. I don't know. Uh, monster. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Get it. Ha, ha, ha. I'm invincible. Yeah, if you go faster at some point, it would be. It's but I mean, hard it gets already. you two gates. It gets you two gates, the magic button. Yeah. So even if you went faster, it would, it would be the same thing. Yeah. It wouldn't matter because you can't die. It w it would make it more and it difficult. It builds bad habits. <laughs> That's right. Then you're like, I'm gonna drive through this wall. Uh, Cause I can. And then no, didn't didn't successfully drive through the wall. Uh, it's like drifting. Like you have to steer back when you're getting towards no oh, towards the turn. Too much. Uh, can't look at the chat. Yeah, it said in the rules that it was specifically two gates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it, I and heard it, you say it anyway. Yeah, and it quits right after two gates. Like, immediately, as soon as you go through it. Because I hit a wall one time. Like, right after going through the gate. Or passing by the, the gate. That's a tough one. When it's an edge one, and you're going back, because you... Chances are it's not on the edge again. And then I had to steer back again. <sighs> okay, 54 seconds. You play a couple more times. Okay. <laughs> Risk versus reward, yeah. I mean, Wine. that's... <laughs> oh, no, God. Not even going to steer. <laughs> I wasn't actually going to do that again. And then I just... Oh, no. That, that would, be, would have been a tough one anyway. The first one didn't count, though, because that's... Oh, good job. Ah. Now you're invested. Oh, no. Oh, what? what killed you? See, note at the top of the screen. Something went crazy. Yeah. No, no. I, I hit the slick and ran into the wall and slid past and it. I guess you're wider and, than the crash. But yeah. see the blue line? Yeah. You're not allowed to know where the gate is until after the wall is on the screen. Is that true? I, I think I've that noticed might be that true. When, I noticed Watch that it. when I die. Uh, yeah, I've seen that a couple times. Yeah, like the gate appears... Like, it makes the although, hole afterwards. Although, to be fair, it's so quick <laughs> yeah, that I'm not losing any information. I wanted to complain, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Yours. Mine. Ooh, that's oh, nice. You know what? That's a nice Two. bonus. It actually gives you... Depends three. where. Yeah. So that's one, one two... two. Ah, seems to be three. Yeah, maybe it's changed. It, it seems to be the where you get it, and then the wall. Like you, not Damn it. it doesn't include the wall. That's right. That's yeah, good. That was a good one. I'm trying to find a clever way to say <laughs> it's two, except it's that not. it's not. It's just it seems to be three, but it does depend on where you get it. Sometimes at the bottom of the screen. 
Yeah. But that suggests it's not based on oh. two, but based on... Oh, okay. So, one, two... Yeah, so it is actually timed. And so the fact that it says two gates in the rules is, is basically just uh, translating for you. Yeah. Saying it saves you two gates. A minimum but, of two would be a better... But if they did go faster, and if the rate of the flashing didn't change, then it would. You're, you're right, RC70. Yeah. 70. RC70. RC70. See, there is right after the gate. Oh, that one run was so good, but then... It Saved you that time. Yeah, definitely did because it was a it was a hard hard one to steer over to. Only twenty six seconds. Oh, feels like so much longer. Feels like forever. <laughs> it it's does. like when you have to hold a squat. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! A plank or something. It's almost not worth Horrible. steering till you see where the next one it is. It isn't worth steering. Like, until that's what you have I to tend you, to do now. You have to steer, but you have to steer yourself to zero speed. But that's yes. all. Yeah. Not two anywhere. Did I make a minute? Yet. No, you didn't. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, you didn't make a minute. I'm, oh God! <laughs> Boy, oh yes, like, uh, I want at least a minute. Well, you, it's nice to want. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It's the longest minute in any game that definitely that I've played. It seems brutally slow. It's every every gate is unbelievably dangerous. I don't think it's gotten smaller the gates though. I don't think so. No. I think, I was would, trying to I think if they did, you would feel cheated. Yeah. And you don't feel cheated in that way yet. No, maybe after a while, but the, the world record's only just over two minutes, so... Oh my it god. Is, it, is the sort of game, it. it is the sort of game that, as it is, does not require the, the, for it to become more difficult. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> because just that thing... Because making, ah! it, making it to a minute is, is already hard enough. <laughs> Super Hexagon has the longest minute... Of any game, says RC70. Oh, yeah. I played that. Way to diminish our current pain, RC70. <laughs> diminish your current pain. Well, he's saying, oh, yeah, you have it hard, but. We have to watch You this. didn't even play this other game. <laughs> oh, oh <I> see. <laughs> That's a worse game in terms of how the pain you feel in the first minute. Super Hexagon on 2600, or is that on Fact Tracks? Or is that just a. I maybe know that it's name. A, maybe it's a VR game. That uh, could be. Could be. You know the name though. So it's I not. do. No, it's not a VR game. Mo it's mobile. It's modern. He's okay. It's one of those games where I think you're in the center of the screen and you have to go through openings in hexagons as they come towards you. I know I played something like that on the C64. You mean Alien? That's really good. Aliens? No, not like that. With the rings? That That's was... going through the rings. I was going through the rings. And this it was... one is avoiding, like, uh, you have to go through gaps. Like, yeah. it's a hexagon, but one of the P side pieces is missing. Uh -huh. And you have to direct your man through that side piece that is missing. Why? Get out of here! 56 seconds! And I didn't jinx you that time. No, you didn't. I saw it coming and... And it's like, oh yeah. I, you were like 40-something and I was like, yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die right before a minute again. Yeah. We'll move on in a second, but I really want to get to a minute. Really, really, really. It's so hard because that guy. Not because that guy. D because of twice, all of the twice things. Twice in a row, it, all of the things make it hard. Uh, all of the things. Yes, all the things, but specifically the oil slick when I'm trying the to go through an slick. opening. The gravel slick. 
when I'm trying to go through a, a gravel grabber. Like there's there should be a sign that says that the the, ahead. the road has been grooved for resurfacing. <laughs> Motorcyclist, take note. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I'm not sure what that was all about. Just bad playing. Same. Oh, I saw that thing at the top again. Yeah. However, we determined that like you have to freeze the screen to even notice it, so it can't be. But does that only happen? No, I think when it comes on. The, I think when it comes on the screen, it's sometimes. It. I think it's just there for such a short period of time you don't see it, but that it slides on and. Yeah, because those, the barriers seem to blink into existence. They don't come from completely at the top of the screen. There's a, a bit of the top of the screen that, really. Through that one, it's the worst. Just right, accept pixel? your fate, and then you won't feel bad when it, when your fate comes. Like it's coming now. Yeah. No, oh, psych myself out. <laughs> Too much raid quit adrenaline now. Yes. The dots are coming in sync with the gates, so you have even less time to react to them. Yeah, they seem to place themselves just before the gate, so you you have the op like there. You have the option of the gate or the dot. That one yeah. seemed to be near the gate, so that one was a bit easier. But that does make sense. it sense. It should be a choice between the gate or the dot. Yeah, having having you know experienced the game for a while now, because otherwise it would be too easy. just a bonus. Yeah, yeah. and you although you could make it so that if you made a skillful. You know, if you came with it, like, you got one of those if you, like, if your fender scraped the wall, but not enough to tear it off. <laughs> and then you'd ah, be rewarded for oh your, God. uh, for your almost dying. Oh, it's blinking. Oh, my God. It's so, it's one of those games where you know you can do better. So you just keep playing it. You're like, no, I can do better than that. That was stupid like that. That's a stupid move. So you just keep playing it because it's like no, why why am I so bad at this? That was just because you can make every gate. If it wasn't for that gravel grabby guy, um, there's no excuses really because you can make every gate if it's even if it's like hard left, hard right, hard left, hard right. Okay, I get two more turns, then we're moving on. Because I'm sure this is torturous for watch <laughs> it's not a not a high well it's high action but it's not like not a lot of variety i think it's more f best way to put it is more fun to play than to watch i don't know what people think out there but it's actually really a good game oh my God. okay last one <laughs> especially with a goal in mind like, no, I have to make a minute. Ah. One more. No. <laughs> no. No. Roll the rules. Okay. Okay. Hold the button. Ah, no, no. Okay. We're going to be playing Hero, ah. which I have a cartridge for, but I forgot. It's more to fun play. to watch James' reactions. <laughs> yeah. That's it, eh? Which I haven't actually played my cartridge version of Hero yet, so I'm taking a chance here. But I do have it on the multi-card. So, here's Hero. Oh, you guys are seeing a blue screen. There we go. Here is Hero over Darcy's face. So I don't have to, I don't have to hide his face. There we go. Um, and I got this. You need some help? I got, my ago. fingernails are too long if you need some. <laughs> no. I'm good. I got it. All right. Sealed. No, somebody sealed this. Good way to protect the um, the covers so they don't scrape against other things. Yeah, it is a good idea. But I want to play it, so. Oh, can you turn off that light? Sorry. Um, and it's not I a noticed terrible exactly for an zero difference game. in coloring. Oh, that one's no, that one wouldn't do it. The overhead light might do something, but even then, it's it's not as bright as these lights. Okay, let's see if this works. That 
Son's just gonna go over there and do. <laughs> the Atari boss. Oh, this has laser eyes. Laser eyes. This is this is an amazing game. Oh. What did you do? Blew oh, I up? put a... There you go. Okay, Hero 1984 by John Van Ryzen. Oh, I see. That's uh, where you this is laser an eyes. 8K game. I'm gonna... There. Now you know how to play the game. What? What did I do? You won the level. Now you're on level two. It's just more of the same. Uh, Hero, standing for Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operation. Oh, oh I have to do this. I run away, and then I go <laughs> down this hole because it was slightly harder to get to. Uh, is a video game written by John Van Ryzen and is published by Activision for the Atari 2600 in March 1984. It is ported to the Apple II, Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit, uh, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, MSX, and ZX Spectrum. Sega released a version of the game for its SG-1000 console in Japan in 1985. While the gameplay is identical, Sega changed the backpack from a helicopter to a jetpack. Yeah, you have to go up and around. Oh, yeah. There's all there you can destroy. Um, so, actually... Oh, we'll I am we'll a hero! Is it called Hero? Yep, it is called Hero. Um, the patch... Uh, score that you have to get is 75,000. So you're one seventh of the way there. Getting there. Oh, I see. Uh oh. Yeah, you can't get through there. You have to go down the right hand side. Oh, I can. Um, so let's read the manual for this game. So we, part of the game is knowing where the lights are and then not going where the lights are. That's part of it. I mean, you can do it with no lights, but. I'm just saying that, like, it's certainly memorizing helpful. Where, the, where the lights are seems to be. Yeah, definitely very helpful. That's too big. That's so too I just big. can't do it? Oh, I guess it doesn't even let you. Yeah. Which is... So it doesn't waste your waste your bullets. Uh, but I can't go anywhere else. Up and around. How? Yeah. It goes away. So you How do you jump? It. How do you jump? Oh, press up. Hold up. Sorry. Hold up. Oh. Oh, no. I did not know you could go up. Oh. You thought it was like just eases you down. Yeah, you can go up and around, back and around. So you got 11,000. Pretty good for not knowing how to play it at all and for your first game. Um, Roderick Hero. Oh, Peril is my middle name. Roderick Hero here, our hero to my associates. Oops. President and Chief Executive uh, Officer of Hero Incorporated inviting you to take join me in tackling a tricky maze of mine shafts rife with the kind of danger we daring types only dream of. Until now, that is. Think of it. Miners trapped in a mountain, bubbling with lava rivers and magma deposits. Mine shafts crawling with vile vermin. All lethal to touch. Oh, it's just too awful and too exciting. I'm armed with equipment of my own invention. My prop pack carries me to even deeper depth while I zap creepy critters with my micro laser beam. Dynamite demolishes walls that get in my way if my supply lasts, that is, and my power. Did I mention the terrible tentacles that loom up out of lava? Or the massive walls that can crush me? What about the raft I ride on? Oh, never mind. Come along and make yourself useful. Ah, uh, turn the car, turn the power on. Insert cartridge. Select one of the five one-player games. Uh, to, to, to reserves. I embark with four opportunities. Very well then. Lives. One in use. Three in reserve. One acquires an additional life to a maximum of six in reserve every twenty thousand points. So there's uh, opportunity in the seventy-five thousand. That's annoying. Eh? Seventy-five thousand. You would get uh, three lives additional. Um, power gauge. One hears and sees the power gauge fill at the start of each level. Power begins to diminish when the joystick is moved at the beginning of each level. Or after a reserve life appears on the screen. If power runs out and a reserve life remains, one reappears at the top of that level. Uh, game ends when one runs out of lives, of course. What's uh, that? That is something you don't want to touch. But you can blow up. Nope, guess not. 
Ah, lava! Don't touch the glowing walls. 17. Even better. Prop pack, my greatest inspiration to which I'm very attached. This propeller pack allows one to fly up where one wishes. To fly up, push port joystick forward. To run or fly left or right, move left or right. To hover, tap joystick forward. It's funny they say forward, forward instead of up. To fly down a shaft. Also, tapping doesn't do diddly. Oh, when you're already flying. Oh, I see. Uh, to fly down a shaft, step this off a ledge. This time. Gravity does the rest. No, dead end. Oh, I see. And now I must fly. Up and around. What's it's that? <laughs> it's interesting that it, it doesn't fly right away. That you have to wait no, for that a once second. you're flying, you hold up, then you start flying, and then you push up and you go up. Uh, you killed uh, yourself! I don't even know what happened there. And you didn't move, and you killed yourself. Oh! Micro laser beam. The helmet comes equipped with a micro laser beam. With it, with it, one can blast vile vermin. The beam also can slice through walls, but this takes time, and time costs precious power. To fire, press joystick button. For continuous fire, press and hold button. Dynamite. One begins with each game, every lot, and every mine shaft level with six sticks of dynamite. Each of one can which demolish a small wall. Milton Buddhist once says, "This is a brilliant game. It is unbelievable for an 8K game." Uh, the colors, the animation of the guy running, the variety of levels in an 8K game is is crazy. Like everything about this, and just just the concept of be able to fit in an 8K game is huge too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we know the joist. We know how to do dynamite raft. A heat-resistant raft floats on certain stretches of lava river. It can carry our hero across the river when he lands on it. Uh, it can carry you. A word to the wise, getting off, it is always easy. Uh, one should make a point to be as familiar with the details of a rescue operation as with guests in one home. Uh, Mine shafts extend vertically and horizontally deep into Mount Lyon. Some dead end, others are blocked by walls. Some walls and surfaces glow red. These contain magma deposits, molten lava beyond ah! the rock. Like a lot, like there. You I go. did not learn my lesson. Almost and died the same, in the same score. Spot. Yeah. Well, that's not surprising given that I, there that you go. I uh, made it to exactly the same spot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. With the same number of lives. Where were we? Uh, uh, there, about halfway. Some dead end, others are blocked by walls. Some walls and surfaces glow red. You were just talking about those things as I ran into them. These contain magma deposits. Molten lava behind the rock, like lava rivers, magma deposits cost one life should one be careless enough to touch them. Oh yes, before I forget, lanterns like these murky mine shafts touch or shoot one and that section of the mine will go dark. Most unpleasant. Uh, hello to... I thought it was lizards, but it's hazards. <laughs> hello, lizards. The shafts you <laughs> note are alive with... Various vermin, spring spiders, springing spiders, shaft bats, mine moths, and nesting snakes. Nesting snakes. Ooh, I got, got, I got guided by one. Do avoid <laughs> them or blast the loathsome little beggars with the micro laser beam. In addition, a tentacle traces one's every move over certain parts of the lava river. As one cannot shoot it, practice caution. Shooting any of these hazards results in a loss of life, alas. Touching, not shooting, touching any of these hazards. Hello, can one go? One must locate a miner on each level before moving to the lower mi lower in the mine. The deeper one goes, the faster things move. The more dangerous the numerous and numerous the challenges become, and the harder it is to find the miner. The current level, the current level number appears in the place of the score at the beginning of each level. To tackle tougher tunnels right away, one may start the rescue mission at deeper levels. Rescue challenge chart. Game number starting level. One one. <laughs> Two, level five. What? Three, level nine. You oh. start at level nine when you when you choose the starting level. Three. Oh, that's good for practice. Four is thirteen, and five is seventeen. Uh, with a star beside it. Game five starts on level seventeen, but all following levels are random. No level number appears during game five. In games one to four, the word pro appears in place of the level number pro. after level twenty. My highest accolade, you can be sure. Scoring. 
Shoot a critter. 50 points. Each dynamite stick remaining when miner is rescued. 50 points. Dynamite a wall. 75 points. So you want to dynamite all the walls that you can dynamite. Mm, no, you get way more bonus points for... I just oh. explained to you that it's 50 points per dynamite. Yes. That you don't use. It's 75 for each wall you blow up. Yes. So you want to blow up the walls because they use... Sh yes, they use the dynamite, but they give you 75 instead of the 50 you're going to get at the end. Oh! It says each dynamite stick remaining when miner is rescued is 50 points, but you also get points for your power. You get way more points for power, so don't... Perhaps, yeah. Shooting so is... Don't delay by messing around with shooting things. Unless it's just convenient. Yeah, I... I, I... <laughs> I do not believe Damn I, it. I do not believe that I said you should shoot all the things. <laughs> True. No. Nope. I would say you go up there and blow up that thing because that's an extra twenty-five points. And it's the only way around. Oh my god. Let's get uh, tricky. Tricky. Oops. Oh my god! Why did I do that? And I have no. What the hell? That you guys must. die? Uh, maybe can you, is there another shaft down here? No. Nope. I just die. And just die and die and die. Laser the wall. <laughs> oh no. Mr. Vex says amazing game. Yes! 31. This is a really good score too. <laughs> uh I, Dynamite Wall, 75 points, rescue a miner, a thousand points. One earns additional points for every unit of power remaining when the miner is rescued. The higher the level number, the higher the level number, the more each unit of power is worth. The day has been saved when oh, the no, rescue. I get them all back. When the score reaches. Oh, from dying. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, use as little as dynamite as possible. Then. The day has been saved when the score reaches 1 million. Damn the rescue it. operation ceases. Can you say what else happens? Our hero, of course, knows. What? Oh my god, 32. You can start here. Oh, sorry. Hint, hero hints? 32115. Can somebody write that down? J32115. Nope, not at the top. Have to refocus. Oh. Move, the, move the mousey. Why you do this? <laughs> Thirty-two, one, one, five. Yep. And I'll reset for you. Ready? Yeah. Hero hints for the hardy hero. Tips from John Ra Van Risen. John Van Risen collects cameras. He golfs. He camps. He goes canoeing. In addition, he's from New Jersey. But what you must understand about John is he loves his work. He thrives on it. As proof of this, he belongs to an almost ah. to almost every Activision club. No mean feat, that. The mine shafts of Mount Leon present many challenges to a rescuer. I recommend you watch the opening sequence before playing the game. I give you a feel for the terrain and help you recognize some of the dangers ahead. And the more you play, also the more you play, the better you'll learn your way around the different mine shafts. Since speed in locating miners earns you more points, you'll want to move as quickly and efficiently as possible. Here are a few tips I think you might find useful. The dynamite our hero carries is potent. He doesn't need to be right next to a wall in order to blow it up. I did discover that. Uh, if our hero runs out of dynamite, he can burn through walls with his micro laser beam. You are right. The closer he stands to the wall, the faster he'll break through. Oh, so I could have made it out of that. If a lantern goes out, find mine shafts by looking at the rough edges along the bottom of the screen. When flying above a river, ride the ceiling by pushing up against as well as to the left or right. Uh, ride rafts whenever possible, since it's easier than trying to go under oh, a I lava see the, ceiling. I see them now. Oh, that's so much. Oh, fun. death. Yeah, you have to be careful now going down those. You can't just drop into it. Like that. Uh, a word about tentacles. They don't move fast, so try to outrun them. I haven't seen tentacles yet. Hope that helps some. 
You'll discover your own techniques as you plumb the depths of the mind. Uh, let me hear what they are and when you emerge from down under. No, I went down and didn't go down. <laughs> I do not like it when I do not know the rules. That's right. Um, oh. And I've got some, and the patch is at 75,000. So I got about halfway, which is not bad for the first game interview with John Van Ryzen in Digital Press. So there's a couple interviews with some interesting information. When you were programming games for the 2600 at Activision, how much code sharing went on? The game seemed to be based on the same graphics and scoring engine or style. John Van Ryzen said there were a few basic things, such as the logo and the score, that were shared. But other than that, everything was written from scratch. There was a lot of sharing of ideas. For example, if somebody figured out a trick on how to do something, they would tell everyone else how it was done. And there's a full interview that was really good in Two Guys, One Review. Open that up. <clears throat> Ooh. That's an efficient use of a uh, bomb. It blew up the bug and the wall. Yeah, it happened a couple times in the two. It's very, very handy. Where did the idea for Hero first come? Is it an original idea you had? Something at Activision? Maybe a bit of both. The idea for Hero was mine, though Activision's marketing department named the game and the character. The idea came when I was visiting Howe Caverns in New York State. The cave is an underground river and seemed like an interesting environment for a game. I liked superheroes as a kid, so I started with that. Figured he could rescue a miner. I made him fly, gave him laser-powered eyes and dynamite. Then I just added fun things that might be in a cave. I then made it easier and harder levels for players to progress through. Added more features and tweaks. My co-workers would try the game and give me feedback and additional ideas to try. Thirteen! Yeah, it was... That was many thousand points less than... Before. Your seventeen, I think, was yours. Your high score before. I wasted some of those stuff. It's all about the speed of the moving and getting to the rescue, because... That is where all the points come from. And the, and the dynamite gives you a little bit of points at the end. Uh, but you said it gives you more points by using it, right? It's 75 instead of 50. That's right. So use it. Don't be hesitant. I was not hesitant. <laughs> You're but throwing I used, dynamite at everything I, you can see. I was accidentally dropping dynamite, is what I'm saying. Oh no, this is the one where you have to go around the other way. Right? You're accidentally dropping dynamite. Yeah, because all you have to do to drop dynamite is press down. Oh, I see. That's true. And I guess down isn't really used yeah, anywhere else. See, you're burning victory points by lasering just like, like madness. <laughs> Nobody knows why you do that. You don't use up energy. Do you? You do. By lasers? Don't you? I don't think so. Oh. I, I hope not. Well, it's I power. Didn't... It's called power. True. Oh, maybe you do. I mean, that's why... Does your thrusting when you, when you do Remember when you were dying? You used your lasers and it accelerated your dying. Oh. Hmm. So I will not hold it down. I don't know if it's... I, I'm not entirely sure it's true, but I think terrible. it is. Terrible! Maybe. I'll try it on a throwaway game next uh, next time. That was definitely not close enough. <laughs> so you can. so quick oh you I put it, it down as it, soon as I touched ground and it accident. blew up because you died yeah I was trying Probably. to get that guy and drop dynamite and move at the same time bad idea, bad idea. not enough time for everything
this is where I've died many times. There we go. That's dangerous. What? 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 Is that a dead end? Uh, but over there you can see Oh, the... I can go across the ceiling maybe. Also, if you go up, you'll see there's a place to bomb there. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Thank you. I don't want any lights out there. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> Didn't... I thought it was like... The exit. There's definitely not the exit. Ugh. It's muddy, muddy, terrible water. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Well, I made it further. That's good. I've almost got an extra man, but I'll have to complete this level to do it, I think. Is that close? Yep. It seems to be close enough. Slime, slime. Oh, not bad. 37. J, 37. 075. Please. Oh, thank you, RC70. He got it. He got it. Too slow. <laughs> Did you finish that interview? No. <laughs> Too enthralled with my game plan. Well, the screen went dead and you were playing. Oh, oh, what are we going to try? Oh, the lasers. Just I'll reset it. Try and just press the lasers. The same. same. It's just that it goes down so much quicker than I thought that it felt to me like it was the lasers. Yeah. Why? Why ever stop pressing the button? True. Just use the mega fire. Yep. And just. Well, actually, just holding it down. Mega fire doesn't turn it on. Oh. That actually makes it worse. There you go. There's no reason to not. Well, there is a reason to not fire, because there's sometimes lights that you will yeah. kick out. Um, even later Atari games don't look as good as Hero Activision was known. Activision was known for producing some high-quality games. Pitfall 2 comes to mind as a phenomenal game for the 2600, and, they ha and that had a bit more power in its cartridge. How did you achieve the look of Hero? You can compare it to even other Activision games and see the graphics are pretty stunning. Yeah, they're really colorful. And great animation on, on the enemies, on the guy. Activision had high standards for game visual sound and play, so we took so we could take as long as needed to do the best we could achieve. No deadlines. The hard part was complex coding to make the objects multicolored, not flicker, and fit in the two to four K byte cartridges. Byte. Um, my previous game design was rejected because it looked good, but it was not fun. Killed you a bunch of times. It has. What? <laughs> oh no. You're able to put it anywhere you want? I was flying and it dropped it below me apparently. That was no good. Do it again. 12,890. Uh... See, I got more that time. Substantially more. Oh, because you did it really quick. Yeah, but I did it quick before. And... Hey, you get tons of points for doing it. Getting that. Super quick. There you go. Um, in terms of controls, and maybe some of the tightest controls I've ever played for the system, how much work went into the, making the game feel that incredible? Almost messed up. Uh, what was the response from your colleagues? On Hero, I spent a lot of time tweaking the play controls and level progression to make it fun. I spent less time on the graphics and more on play. I would watch my colleagues play the game and make adjustments based on what I saw. My colleagues had positive reactions and ideas, and it inspired me. Uh, the question. Uh, Hero was a bestseller, but it was also released a bit after the video game crashed. Do you feel the crash affected the game at all? Or do you feel that the quality of the game, the sales, and all the ports to the different systems speaks for itself? Uh, the answer. Uh, it reached number 7 in the bestseller charts of Atari 2600. 
That was very enjoyable for me since my previous game design attempt was a failure. But it came out during the video game crash, so it may not have done as well as it could have. It was rated as high as Pitfall in user testing, but came out the wrong time. A sequel was never entertained by then because Activision was no longer wanted us to develop games. It was like everyone thought the video game games were a fad that died like hula hoops. Amusing when you think about that today. They wanted home computer applications like Creativity, Simulator, and, uh, and experience type products. The company had layoffs and restructuring. It was a stressful time. During that period, Nintendo, EA, and others came in at the end in the video game business crash with high quality games. Seems all the low quality games during the gold rush days caused the video game business to crash in the 1980s. Did you ever want to revisit the game? Uh, back in the 80s, Hero 2, have you played the game in recent years? And if so, what do you think uh, today in 2017? Good job, kicking ass. Uh, answer, yes, I wanted to do a sequel, but the video game business crash did not make that likely. The ports were done by outside vendors and I was allowed to give them feedback. I have played the emulator version in recent years. I have my original 2600 in games. I remember it being strange to have my game called Retro on PlayStation. It made me feel old. Play-wise, it still seems solid to me. I think it would be fun to make a modern 3D version of the game. Activision did that with Pitfall and they contacted me about doing it with Hero. But it was never pursued. Maybe I can convince Activision to sell me the rights to the sequel. Uh, really good interview there with the creator of Hero, John Van Ryzen. Double dive there. 27, 24, 760. Way better. Got that? Yep. Thank you, RC70. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can navigate. Like, memorization would help a massive amount. Like, this one, I know you go down the left. Usually, it's... It's usually the, the one... one where, early on, it's the one where you had to do something to get there. Yes. Yeah. The one that's the easy route is like, oh, go down here. You don't have to it do It continues anything. to be that one most of the way through. But the yeah. spot that I got killed multiple times by the spider falling through into being a spider is an exception. It might, I think it's the first time where it's wrong to go the way that you had to do something to get to. Right. Knowing where those lights are is uh, handy. Yeah. Yes, it is. And you, like, you, you have, have to, go, to back go back around. Up. Yeah. So it was still the same rule. Like, or was it? Is there something there before? There's a slight hesitation, like when you want to go down, so you can't really easily time it out. Like yeah. that's probably the wrong way. Yep, it is. Because you have to blow up a thing, and that's harder than just shooting something. Damn it! Ah! Yeah, maybe I just saw this. Uh, maybe I wasn't recognizing the bomb Hi. because that was the spot I got killed. So I was actually not following my rule of go where it's harder. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I, I'm. Oh I'm, no! I'm trying to play. I'm trying to play game, cat. Oh, your name isn't Cat. <laughs> it's Pixel. It's he Cat right now. Sometimes he forgets when he's playing a game that you are a living creature. <laughs> oh, don't forget he's a living creature. This is, he interferes. If you're an inanimate object. He it, forgets that you're easy. the most important. Oh my god, terrible game. Look what you did. Your mere presence has brought on the words terrible game. <laughs> That's probably the here. Yeah. You're okay. You're all right. Oh, yep. That's the route to go. Is that way. Oh, it does get rid of some things. <gasps> But you could blow up the thing in the middle. No, but then it's a dead end. Get... Oh, I see. It's right. It's right. Hi. 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 Oh, hi. Oh, you could put a bomb there and blow up that spider, I guess. Uh, get, oh, that was close. Yeah, you... I never thought of that maybe? until just now. 
Oh. What? It's a cavernous butterfly and it totally bit you on your butt. Yeah. When uh, you're, you have a uh, hyper uh, allergy to uh, venomous cavern venomous butterflies. Butterfly. Is this the way? Probably not. Actually, this is either way is fine. This one. You're going the cheat way and you what? deserve that. Happened. Yeah, blow thumb something up there and then see what uh, that guy. Yes. And now you go I... down. Now you're punished because <laughs> the you lights are... are out. That was terrible. Can can you reset for me, please? Yep. Hi, 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 hi. Oh my God! Come on, come on, Pixel. Oh, Pixel. You know, know what? He can never play this game again. You have ruined <laughs> this moment. Special moment. <laughs> so every everything is go for the harder. So far. So far. Yeah. If there's a wall there, blow it up. If it's a spider there, destroy it. Go for it. Like, that's the harder route. Go for that. Well, that's no choice. So oh, you could blow up the spider. Yeah. That's a much harder. Might be worth... It might actually be better to go the other way. Maybe. Because the amount of time it takes to drop a bomb might not be worth 25 points. Double. Is this the no, no, no! Is this one? Blow up a wall. Blow, walls harder than a spider? Yeah. See? Spider gets you on the way down over there. Uh, look at this cat. Why is it when I'm playing video games you're like this and cuddly? Every other time it's like, no. I blame. thing to do. Oh, uh, don't get up. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Extra life, please. Oh, there you go, one at 20. Yeah? Is that the noise of bad cat? It's over here. No, I don't need to. Oh, I do need to. What was happening? Nope, it doesn't work. You can't do that. Why do I think that... You can drop a bomb there. Uh, too close. Too close. Oh, it clears everything out. Look at that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> is this happening to me? Why you do this? Why you do this? Your attention is focused on the game when clearly it should be focused on the cat. Right. Yeah, that is true. And now he's sullen. Is it this way? Because it's the wall? And that's hard? Yep. Maybe. But I mean, uh, it there. keeps you from losing your light anyways. That's definitely the hard way. Oh, There's a bomb up there, therefore you probably need to go up there and blow it up. Where? Right there. Oh! Right. Oh, wasting all this. Bonuses. Wasting all the power! Oh my good. Yep. Last life. Last life! There. Terrible. Oh, it's a terrible bonus. Well, I'm trying to get the big high score. <laughs> it's not going to happen doing that. <laughs> How many uh, points did you need for a new life? Uh, every 20. So I'm, if I do okay on this, I should get it. Um, I guess it's the wall. Oh! 
Oh. Ah. And you were so close to beating your previous score, but you didn't do anything worth any points for like the longest time. Oh no, thirty-six nine one five. Mind if I go again? You go. <laughs> Bonus! Bonus! I don't think there's any, like, multipliers. So it's one of those games where you get all the points in the first <laughs> levels, and then you, uh... Then you get smaller points in subsequent levels, because they take longer <laughs> to do. Like on, um... Sorry, Keystone Capers. We were a little over 4,000 points per level so far. Four. Four? Seems like You're on level that. four. Yeah. And at the beginning oh, of true. it. Yeah. This way. So that's doing four levels. Yeah, no, I calculated it based on three levels. And mm, it was about okay. four. So you did better on that level than any previous level ah. for points. There must be a bonus per level that you're on. Mm. Because you just got substantially more than you do on the first one. The first one, if you do it perfectly, you get 2915. And you got way more than 2000 as a bonus this time. And the, on the first level, I'm including all the points you get for the whole level is 2915. Right. So. bunch of bad moves, which should be more and more eliminated as I go on. I don't want to keep on dying. Oh, come on! Oh, that's dangerous. Dangerous position to put me in. Get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just stupid moves. Stupid. Because I'm not trying to maximize. Move! Oh, this is hard. Probably be playing this with a different joystick. Which one should I go down? Doesn't matter. Yay! I beat it. I beat my score. Yes, you did. Yeah. You beat it by getting good levels because you've been on this level before. Yes. You have. You haven't gotten as far as you've gotten before. And you're ahead, so that means you could you get it faster. Right. Yeah. This is where this is the furthest I've been. You know why? Because it's hard to just get under and because there's a second, a moment where you have to press up and it doesn't respond. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 38, 8, 45. 
there's no... This isn't a game where there's like a trick to get into the high score. It's not like, oh, that's how you do it. It's just getting better at each level and getting it better at each little obstacle. Um, at least there's a pattern of which way you should go down. It's like, go the hardest way. So you don't have to memorize as much. And I can only optimize so many. I'm not like going to get 75,000 points with eight levels all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, I did notice that the people... I watched some people playing this and they got a high score and I think it's six minutes of gameplay. <laughs> so this is not a long game once you've gotten really good at it to like just zooming through the levels. Yeah. You can get get it done pretty quickly. Got it there. <laughs> Almost bit it. <laughs> okay, see you at RC70. He's probably gone already, but. Oh, so he's not no. recording the scores anymore. Some typing. Typing! No! I didn't sign up for that! Some of it's about, like, just going for it and not having to wait for the next cycle, too. Yep. So I get the points. Yep. I get the big bucks. <sighs> Go! Nope. Pixels of, of mistakes. Same with this one. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, should have guessed. Because the spider was protecting one of them. And that would be the one to go down. Well, you did do that one better than you had in the past. Yeah. Yep, you were at 39 already instead of 38 something. Excellent. And previously you'd been at 36 or 37. So. Excellent. Knew it! I have died there before, I think. That's a tricky spot. It is. Yeah, it's not much room for. It's the fact that, like, you can't bump into the wall because yeah. lava. Part. I have to take this guy out. He's just going to enter with my death. Maybe go what up am I higher. To do? Oh, oh I, it placed me perfectly. Whoa! Whoa! Damn it. Oh my god. Seriously? I have to place it and fly? I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was going to die there. Because it takes, like, what are you supposed to start taking off first, and then... The guy has got to be here. He might be able to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Might be able to do that. Yeah. I had one... I did have one where I placed a bomb. I want to see something. If I run off... Oh, you can instantly fly if you run off the edge. That was it. Uh, okay. So that's what he was expecting me to do. I have the same control as you, Jane, but for this, I prefer the Apex 500XJ. Uh, yes, I think that might be an idea. Sorry. 
Um, yeah, that is the solution. I, the the falling off the thing and flying away. Yep. Um, I did have a spot where I died in the air above a bomb, and it felt like I... But that can't be right, because you have to be able to fly down. So you can't drop a bomb when you're in the air. No. I'll have to get used to it, but I think it's going to be better for this game. Thank you for the uh, reminder. This feels a little bit different. And noise here. Noisy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, S. Ramirez, for the, for the help on using a different joystick. Yeah, it's... for positioning myself, it's going to be way better. It's like, click. You know when you've pressed it. You know when you've made a... Hesitated for a second, though. The light's always... Oh, oh. Uh, the light's always on the right-hand side. isn't as important as precision. Uh, true. Later on. Later on, that's yeah. for sure true. Yeah, right now it's... Uh... I yeah. mean, yeah, ultimately. Because you, without enough precision, you die. You keep dying. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, later on for sure. Because you will, you will die without the precision. And really, the score that you're getting it by... I'm going to try my other one. Because that one has a problem with the left. A little bit on the left. Actually, I have two more. Come here, bud. What are you Who's got the big floof cheeks? Hey, watch it. You're going to get sat on. You get sat on over there. Yeah, with the closing magma walls. Oh my god, I haven't <laughs> been there yet. That sounds terrible. So, moving walls. Hi. Murr. <laughs> Kitten. I love you, but... These things will happen. So morale improves. Your morale. Ugh, I'm put up with that. On the second level. Yeah, PX, no deaths on the second level. No. Just does not happen. It's not, not part compute. of what we do. Does not compute. Or third level, whatever it was. Hi, <laughs> headbutting cat. Oh, I'm being so sweet. You want food? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the thing that's happening? No. It's like you've given me food before. I like when all the people in the house are people that can give me food. No, I can't give you food. I don't know how. <laughs> you must only come to me for love. Not food. <laughs> Love only. It's real love, not food love. Uh, open and close, like like the ground in Pitfall. Oh my god. <laughs> Nightmare. It's hard enough dealing with lava, just avoiding it. Never mind. 
opening and moving all over the place. Yeah, so far the lights are only on the right, so if you hug the left, you're a lot safer. From accidentally, if there is room. Sometimes there isn't room. There's just a light that you are guaranteed to turn off. Yeah, this is much better for precision, this joystick. What's funny is that uh, a lack of light is only a problem on a level that has one. <laughs> yeah. It all seems to now. But like your starting level, I guess maybe you're above ground on the starting level. Above ground. Ah! How does it decide which enemies to get rid of? Like when you die. Like it seems to get rid of side you. Yeah, maybe because that spider is going up and down getting the spear. But you'll never make it past that one. I think I've died more times on killing myself with dynamite than anything else. Which is <laughs> it's a preventable death. And everyone should snake murder. Watch out for. That one too. Damn, there's no room to even. Mm. Mm. So many deaths on this level. the map of the game. No. I, I don't think a map would be useful because it's so high action that that I'm terrible memorization. So what did I get? 39. Not even close. 44. Okay, we'll play two more games. Unless there's massive improvement. And then we will another day. Some games are really hard. Some games I get it on the first try. I don't know which game I did with like the first game I played I made I made the patch. I put the score a little too low on that one. <laughs> Many people out there have gotten this patch. Obviously, Nathan Strum sounds like it in S. Ramirez. Psst. Psst. I mean, he's just. Um, he likes the Velcro. He's not actually attacking the lawyer. He's still very distracting. Ah, he's pretty cute. Slipped. Oh, yeah. He's very cute. cute. <laughs> That's probably on camera, isn't it? It is. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Here is all about practice and repetition. It is. I mean, I'm getting really good at these early levels. Like, not dying. Not and getting through them with s speed. I know which direction to go. I'm not, like, messing up. Psst, stop it, please. Psst, kitten. Please. No. He doesn't Please. speak English. <laughs> he speaks anger. He understands no. But of course cats are like, oh, you don't want me to do this? Well, that means it's fun. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I think you pretty much have to do that. Well, Almost. it's uh, good practice. It is, yeah. Because every other time I just die. To proceed through the game. It's practice for getting used to the jumping off the mm. fly thing. Oh my god! It is, yeah. Terrible. Total waste of lives early. I could have gotten the patch, but I never sent away for any Activision patches back in the day. I should have. Yeah, I can always buy them now. 
that's what I plan on doing at some point. Burn them all, and then uh, find somebody who has a bunch of them. Buy the ones I need. <laughs> worked. It totally worked. <laughs> Much safer. Yep, that's what you do. Blast out the lights. Who needs to see? Oh, you can run over those pits. Nice. Up while running. Upper? I don't think it did there, but. Must have. Okay, what the hell do I do now? You fall off. Come on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It was not easy though. Now you bomb. And now comes now the I, real. The real test. Bomb and jump. Yeah, yep, there you go. Yep. That's it. Shoot that loser. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Three lives. Oh, 45. It's a high score anyways. Your high score. Yep. It's good. These lights are always on the right. So always hug the left if you can. This one seemed to be all about gaps in the lava. About not falling through into lava. Yep. How about edits down that way? Because that's the way this game works. Yep. This is the way well, it would have been fine, but I would have maybe taken out that light. Yeah. Oh, doesn't matter. And that one's over there. Oof, that was quite an arc. I just avoid that. Ah, pfft. Just falling off, just in case. That's another one, but it's easier because there's no bad guy there. Catch yourself pretty quick. Oh god. <sighs> there we go. Oh. No bonus whatsoever. Oh, damn it! Not even gonna make it. There we go. Oh my god, that's a long level. But also, it's your first time doing it, so. True. You are quicker at all of the levels so far. I mean, obviously, it's gonna happen. Whoa! I got a short path. Oh, come on. That was just pretty much luck. <laughs> I'll just avoid that. They seem to pause when you kill one of them. Go, 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 oh. oh, damn it. You get another chance to try it. Yay. <laughs> yeah, like, you get no bonus. These levels are so... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's fine, right? It's a light. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like that, um... Oh, I had another life? Wow. Yeah, you had, you had a lot of lives. There. What were you gonna say? There was something that I liked. I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> Fifty thousand and fifty-five, and I'm gonna retire on that. I think um, did pretty good. That was getting better. Level ten, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, getting through the levels faster would obviously help. So I'm almost there. It's the it's thing like that will help. Yeah. Three quarter, two thirds, two thirds the way to the score. Fifty out of seventy-five. Yep. Oh my goodness. Obviously, amazing game. It's even got a demo in it. In, in, in an 8K game. That's unbelievable. How many levels of demo does it have? Wow. Why would a demo take up it doesn't resources? Take up, it, doesn't, it would have to record left for X seconds, up for X seconds, down button yeah. for x seconds it would all be like that yeah um so it would take up room not a, not a ton i guess it was the demo's terrible <laughs> playing <laughs> but i guess it doesn't want to show you perfectly how to do it oh is it starting over now again to the first level no i wonder how many levels it goes through actually it's not bad at playing it just makes some mistakes actually it's real quick Oh, that's what I was thinking. Get out. Plays until it runs out of lives. <laughs> and it has does infinite it? lives. Oh, it does have infinite lives. How long does it play for? Does it show what level, though? No, it doesn't say does, what level. Uh... Oh, yep. okay. Well, we're talking. Level 14 starts the sliding lava. <laughs> yep, 14 through the end. Excellent game. My favorite Activision game. I'd say it's right up there. Especially for a platformer. This, like, this is unbelievable for a 2600 platformer. Um, I'm still playing. Oh, this is Star Oh, Rover. it's looped. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Uh, our poll uh, resulted in uh, mostly homebrew, which is what I would expect from yeah. an audience that watches a homebrew game. 8% yeah. uh, with exclusively homebrew, which, you know, I, I would have thought there'd be some people. Mostly classic is 16%. Although one of those votes was meant to be a two. Uh, uh, from a one to from a, a two? three. From a three to a two. Yeah. Okay, so change a little bit. Um, and only classic, zero, which makes sense. If they're watching a homebrew game, they would probably play some homebrew games. And 0% uh, and for... No randomly uh, generated <laughs> monsters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody's here by accident. Um, like Atari, what, what, who, what? Uh -huh. So thank you everybody for watching the show. Uh, let's take a look at all the games and do a little, little review. What is going on with this mouse? There we go. So we played Lunar Lander. Very good um, port of the arcade, I yep. think. Yeah, it yeah, really it captured it good, the spirit yeah. of it. Um, so it'd be fun to see what, um, except you need to, an ability to add quarters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to make something second joystick button to add quarters or something. <laughs> I'm sure he'll add in the, uh, Atari Vox high scores for a second, the second port. And it records, records how many quarters in shame uh, tokens on the side. Yes. You could do that. Yep. yep shame tokens. <laughs> Although I couldn't tell, does it get harder? It didn't seem to get any harder. Yeah. Like. The gravity it's is like the same. The, the, the skill, pads. the skill is how far can you get on the fuel you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can set the starting fuel. So eventually, I guess you either are perfect at it and can use less fuel than fifty every time, or you will just die for eventually, sure yeah, yeah. at a certain point, yeah. or be on the edge and go back and forth. Um, so it's kind of weird in that way so i'm guessing if you keep it strictly the same to the arcade you will run out of fuel 
at some point and it's just when you run out of fuel yeah yeah but yeah the gravity doesn't change the width of the pad doesn't change there's or some, didn't so far anyway didn't there's multipliers some but it doesn't give you extra fuel if you get yeah. extra points it doesn't cross over so yeah. no it doesn't doesn't seem to get any harder um yeah i'll be interested to see what additions because everything's just going to be a bonus there because he's perfectly replicated the arcade as far as i can tell um gate racer seemingly basic game but very addictive actually when you play it so very uh, hard very hard very challenging and it's definitely one of those games where you can just pick up and play it because if you don't have much time no please don't destroy the furniture come up here instead come on come here there we go now you can cuddle um <laughs> Yeah, I recommend you people download it and give it a try. Um, you'd be surprised how addictive it is. It's one of those games you can obviously just pick up in, and play, and it only will take a minute to play because you will not make it past a minute unless you're really, really, really <laughs> lucky and skillful. Yeah. Because there is definitely a factor of luck with that gravel thing yep. that just holds you in place and, and kills you. And where the gates come up. Yeah. Um, and Hero... Obviously amazing, fun game. Um, I got pretty, pretty, S for mirrors. 50K, that's not my score. I'm going to have to go back and have a review of the video when I record my score later. It was 50,000 and 55, I think. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah awesome game. I'm going to have to be, do a part two. I think I could probably do it in the next go-round as long as there's enough time left over to build it up. Yeah. And not like Keystone Capers where you just add like a thousand <laughs> each yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my god, it's taking forever to get to the last little bit. Yeah. Um, but so, you were just managing to beat those levels. Yeah. You had not, you had up till that point been incapable of completing those levels. Yes. So of course you're not going to have the best time when you first start completing them. Yeah, I'll have a bit more time left over because now I know how to do certain moves better and yeah. won't have to wait around or think about it or stare at it for a while. Um, so this... Oh, thank you very much for Pentless VG adding that in. <laughs> very helpful. Now I can record it. Um, so this is the last show for a little while. And uh, you'll be back on the next show, actually. There you go. So you get a double Darcy. Because <laughs> um, I'm off to uh, Dallas, Texas for a um, screening of my film, uh, which will take about a, you know, a little while, about a week. But the way it lies, it doesn't, it's not very convenient for the show. Yeah, yeah. So it actually spans over two weeks. Yeah. Um, S. Ramirez, oh, a few hours away. Well, come drop by, see the film. Um, all the details are on aperfect14.com, aperfect14.com. It has all the links to the tickets and everything if you want to come see it. Um, so we'll be back on the 23rd of August. It is a Friday. Thank you very much, Nathan Strom. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll go really well. It's at the Women Texas Film Festival. So hopefully it's a good crowd. And usually people that come there like it. Actually, almost always people love it, love the film. So we're always happy to talk with people. Um, I don't have any games planned, but I'm sure by the time two weeks is up, there'll be a big list of games that people have either updated or new releases. Yeah. So thank you for uh, joining us during our gaming experiences. S. Ramirez, 2008, Nathan Strom, Repentless VG, Mr. Fix, I supposed to Thrust, 26, yeah, two thirds, he confirms. Um, I say Nathan Strom, uh, seven Stevie Boy Seven. Oh, well, that's a new name. Uh, welcome to the show, RC Seven E, uh, Milton Buddhist, Mister Fix. I said Impaler Twenty Six. I said I think uh, Mu Dan. Um, spammer's name I won't read out. Uh, Thrust Twenty Six. Pole Map Bot. Pole Mappy Bot. That's a strange name. Uh, anybody else? Of course, Johnny WC23 was with us for the beginning. All the games are was here as well. And that's as far as I scroll back. Don't forget the spam guy. I didn't forget him, but I'm not reading his name. 
And thank you, everybody. So, uh, like I said, we'll be back in two Fridays. I know it's a long time, but you can hang in there. Enjoy your summer. You don't have to stay in and watch us anymore. <laughs> you have two weeks break. Um, and I was glad I could get the Lunar Lander game in before the break. Mm. And um, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Yeah, watch see reruns on watch reruns on YouTube. <laughs> of old exploits. Start from the beginning again when we have a crappy camera and it's just Darcy and me, no no screen overlays and things are chunking out and our voices are totally not insane. That's right, yeah. Good times. <laughs> and a year and a half ago. Okay, bye bye. See ya.